welcome to Gemstone Tarot, Monday the 18th of May 2020. My voice might sound weird, I've got hay fever. Oh, I've tried the homeopathic stuff. I've been guzzling the local honey. Grr. <laughs> it's really getting on my nerves. So apologies for that if I sound a bit gravelly. Okay, for some reason before I started this, I started fiddling with the Morgan Greer. <laughs> Smells like the 70s. So, oh, hello. That's what we're getting. Morgan Greer smells like the 70s. Let's just put that there. So I washed the duvet this morning behind you and um, I had the case in the tumble dryer and then who did I find sort of buried in the feathers but Valentine, I know. There's nothing like a naked duvet for a cat is there by gum she looks so pleased with herself as well and then i had to move her to put the cover on she was like noted noted wow oh this is an interesting reading i've got an itchy eye as well an itchy nose okay i'll stop moaning now Let's crack on. Overall energy card, we've got the Knight of Swords in reverse. Hmm, better in reverse than in the upright, actually. But it's something that is not said or not communicated. And underneath him, we've got that Death card, Scorpio energy. Throwback to the full moon of the 7th of May where lots of things went down and lots of things went into retrograde as well, didn't they? Lots of planets went into retrograde and I kind of feel, and I'm not an astrologer, you know that, but I kind of feel with these planets in retrograde and that kind of re, we've got that energy, this is the mind, we got that energy of the sea pulling back, you know, of communication being pulled back of things not being said, of secrets putting back in the box, do the ribbon up, stick the lid on, you know, it's that kind of thing. And whether they will kind of come back out again when these planets go direct, which is in some of them in weeks, some of them in months, I don't know. But certainly there are things that were kind of said and then they were kind of unsaid. There were secrets that pop I know what's gonna happen they popped out of the box like ooh and then someone's like yeah back 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 lid on <laughs> ding ding <laughs> that was me securing a box of secrets um <laughs> and then I think maybe what will happen because we're coming up to the eclipses it's my eclipses in June June the 5th June the 21st July the 5th which is over there somewhere and you know lunar eclipses in my experience one don't have the talk in a lunar eclipse because the talk turns into <laughs> the the pantomime you know it's just you go in with all the intentions of not saying anything and you're just blabbing the farm and you just can't stop yourself it's that energy so things kind of said then retracted and then probably will pop out between now and those retrogrades. Okay, Queen of Pentacles in the reverse, interesting energy, along with the Empress in the reverse. Now the Empress is kind of all four queens put together as a major arcana, but when you get that Queen of Pentacles in reverse, for me those two cards kind of go together. It could literally be issues to do with your mother, with motherhood, with nurturing, with, um, you know, the things that are more kind of Cancerian, really. Looking after family, where is your home, you know, arrangements for home, resentments about arrangements for home, secrets and things that need to be said that are then, and it, it may be out of politeness, you know, because this Knight of Swords... When he's in the upright, he doesn't look very polite, does he really? <laughs> it's like a burning tower, a strange metal bandana and a bloodied sword. He's not afraid to use it, is he? He's not afraid to use it. When he's in the reverse, it's obscure, you know? It's, it can be politeness, it can be um, miscommunication, whatever it is. And what's it about? Ten of Wands, resentments. 
Now the Ten of Wands is when someone accepts something and this could be you, you know, I'll do that, I'll do that, yes. Or if, you know, if you've been furloughed, it may be that I know a lot of people that I know have been furloughed and all of a sudden their employer is never off the phone. You know, it's that whole, well, you never talked to me this much before. <laughs> it's like, why are you always there? So it may be about drawing up boundaries, you know, new boundaries. Everybody's drawing up new boundaries. Um, we live in interesting times, we live in difficult times and they require difficult decisions to be made and when humans have to make difficult decisions about other humans, there tends to be a lot of unspoken stuff, okay? Um, okay, then we have two nines, two nines, nine of cups. When you get that one, we have the nine of cups with the nine of swords. Now they are very different nines, okay? Nine of Swords is about restriction. And also it can be about getting annoyed about something that hasn't even happened yet. So if you're not saying something to somebody because you've already decided what their reaction would be, it may be the time to kind of check in on yourself about that. Because the Nine of Cups is about what you really emotionally want. You know, without kind of qualifying it or wondering if you're going to get it or not underneath deep down what do you want you know what's going to make you happy what's going to float your boat okay and then this is the you know this is restriction this is that whole kind of um i can't have what i want because they will do this and i will do that and they will do the other and this will do that and that will do that that's why we call it the 4am card because it keeps you up and as a as a very wise friend said to me once no thought that you have at 4am is worth keeping. And I'm like, I live by that. If I'm having, and I do have them, one of those nights where I'm chewing my own face off, you know, at 4am, what about this? What about that? This, 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 and that, that, that. I literally say, that's just, I'm just not having it. Whatever I'm thinking is just total, you know what, you know, that's it. And I can kind of do that. You sort of just shelve it. You don't believe your own publicity at that point. It's 4 a.m. Everything is just, um, what do they call that? Oh, is it magnified? Yeah, I think it is. Magnified by the hour, by the rhythms, by the darkness, by your experiences. And it will seem different the next day. At least it may not be better, but it will be different. Okay. Then in the middle here, we've got the Four of Cups. This is slipping into emotional neutral. Sometimes if we're a bit caught up in our own head, we can't do what I did at four o'clock in the morning and tell myself it's nonsense and think, right, go back to sleep. But sometimes we can go into emotional neutral, at least. We can say, right, I'm not going to wind myself up for the next four hours. You know, I'm having a four hour non-wind up holiday. Go into emotional neutral. I can't make it better. I can't change it. I can't put myself in a happy mood but I can put myself into neutral, okay? And then underneath the Two of Cups, Venus and Cancer coming to some kind of agreement or a snuggle, okay? This is really nice. This could be about a romantic relationship as well. If it is, it may be time to have some difficult conversations within that relationship. And if you perhaps don't have them more delicately, you might have them in that full moon way in June. And another thing is one of those, you know, I'm not done yet. <laughs> I haven't caused enough damage. Let me speak more. Oh dear, I've been there. Okay. Full moon, best thing to do is just for me, stay in, get a good film on Netflix, get some chocolate and just let it kind of, you know, absorb it yourself. Oh, yes. Wisdom of the Oracle Unfinished Symphony. Yeah, there's something that we've squeezed back into the box. It needs to have its day. It needs to have its day, okay? It needs to. It may not need our help, but it would probably be easier if, it, if we did let it out gently. Okay. Healing with the angels. For some reason, for some reason, for some reason, hay fever also makes my head quite like I can't think of anything. And I know that is a fairly normal, <laughs> you know, like dates and days and 
all that, but yeah, so frustrating. Okay. Listening. This has been chewed by an angel. <laughs> Listening is like a spiritual thing, as in it's signs, it's things in music, it's um, signals and things like that. But also I think in this case, it might be listening to someone else because once we've built up quite a lot of resentment, sometimes it can come out quite vehemently. So I'm being quite vehement today. Yeah, so it may be better if we could... Um, zip it and listen and then talk and then listen and I know that sounds really patronizing but it's something I can't do most of the time so that's my bit of advice for the day please do leave me a comment and let me know how this resonates with you and I'll see you tomorrow namaste